nigga and say that's the bad guy I tell the truth even when I lie Everybody say goodnight to the bad guy You need people like me So you can point the finger and say that's the All right, yeah, I dig it It's diggable, I need to talk to the mic too I dig it. <laughs> yeah. It's, um... Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was a great song, man. Not too too long, either. It's well, if, like, you, if you include that that white noise, by the way, here's a term from the Canadian Army. It's called a raster. That raster that you hear at the beginning, you subtract all that, and then the the guitar coming in and a little bit of, mm-hmm. out of phase. If you take that... Is this a minute 40? A minute 50? This is not a long song. It's not a long song at all, but it, it hits the point. Like, okay, the intro is gratuitous and long yeah. with the white noise. Yeah. Like, they definitely overplayed their hand on that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I must say, like, that's the weakest part of the song. I agree. Too, it's much, too much. Wait, like, you were feeling yourself. Like, you, I think they were trying to be like, yeah, we're going to try something new. But you're really depending on me, like, staying there for that. Because had I not heard the song live, because I heard it live first. Mm. And the live version got me amped. I'm like, oh my God, yeah. I wanted to like hit somebody in the back of the head with a chill. Like, ah, bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. They're all dead, you right. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, that wasn't the case right. with the, this version, the studio version. Yeah. It's like, they were trying to be a little too artsy with that. That's the only weak part of the song. But yeah. besides that, when it kicks in, oh man, the energy is undeniable. I dig the song in a big way, really liked it, and I'm totally in agreement. The kind of. Five seconds is enough. Mm-hmm. Three hours later, I'm still going to climb yeah. and get the goddamn song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's w- way too much. Yeah, <laughs> way too much. The live version, mm-hmm. it, it's all gone. That whole shh thing's gone. Well, the live version, well, I mean, why would you do that live? Like, yeah, I don't really. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Like, it makes no sense doing I mean, that you, live. You, you screwed up your instrument. Yeah, right? it's like, yeah. I mean, I guess, honestly, live would probably be the, the time to do that because mm-hmm. you kind of got a captive audience, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not captive in this. Like, I know what was coming on after that long intro, but I never heard it with the intro. Right. <laughs> so it was, I was kind of like... Yeah, I mean, that that's a short song. If you, if, if, if you eliminate that, which to me, I mean, I'm not a producer, but mm-hmm. I just throw that whole shit out and just go bang right into the uh, in, in, into the beat and the lyric. All right, now I'm trying to get into my artsy bag right now. You hit me, like, So the song is called All Dead, right? Mm. I guess maybe... Look at me getting deep right now. Maybe it's a symbolism, the reverb, for like all the dead bodies hitting the ground, like anticipation. You see, I'm really digging deep right yeah, now, I'm trying I, to make sense. Or we could say, he is digging too deep and making too much out of nothing. But that's just me. You know what? And that's probably like the right, the, the right thing. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> it could be during the, the booth, the engineer's screwed up going, hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey. You know, you have, no! you have to make a good point there. Yeah. Uh, this movie I was in, She's Just a Shadow. I was reading the script one time, right. and I was talking to the director, Adam Sherman, and it was this one part in the script that said, the man bites a red apple. And I was like, oh my God, this is profound. This is a symbolism for everything that's wrong in the world. It's like showing how a capitalist society is really just tearing apart America, because the apple is capitalism, and the man's biting it, and it's just showing that. And I asked Adam, like, was that what it means? He's like, no, it's just a red apple. <laughs> I was like, damn, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was definitely digging way too yeah. much into that. Sometimes a shark is just, just a shark. shark. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, maybe it's just reverb, right? Yeah, right. You right. just actually yeah. brought me back to that. I have a tendency to do that sometimes. Yeah, okay. Like, hey, this is what it really means. No, it was just re you know, just feedback in the beginning. I, I'd like to hear in fact I'll tell you what I'm gonna do when I get home. Hmm. I'm gonna listen to the live version. You should. The live version is a lot better than this. Yeah. And it's only rarity when I say the live version is better than this. Very movie. rare. Very yeah. rare. Well like, when I first saw that live version, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I really wish they'd cut that that nonsense white noise out of the beginning. I'm going to go home. I am going to listen to the live version because that, I don't want to say ruined it. It was a great song. But if you add the extra power of live, you get rid of the bullshit at the beginning. I really have to know how it sounds with an audience and with that extra push that you sometimes get live. Yo, man, this song gets you hype. It gets you up. You can feel the energy. And yo, punk. I don't know, is that something white people do? Yeah, it is. It's actually an official white person thing. You know what? I can see that. Yeah. In terms of production, Mm -hmm. which do you prefer? Oh, definitely this one. Yeah. Uh, Okay, you can tell this is a later band, so it's more polished, it's more like clean. This the uh, Canadian. I, they're, they're, I'm not talking about the talent, very you know, the, the instrumentation, what have you. But in terms, and, and I didn't like the beginning of the song. No, but in it. terms of its raw production, no. it's a better, it's be, better produced. It, it is way better produced. And yeah. this band was founded in 1980. 
Ah, okay. But yeah. I, I believe the subhumans were gone by 80, UK or uh, Canadian subhumans, I believe, I don't know, were gone 80, 81. Oh, okay, so that makes sense then. So they like dissipated and this yeah. one popped up. Yeah. And the lead singer is uh, Dick Lucas, who I think is the one who uh, sent me a message. Yo, Dick. <laughs> right along. I try. So, so Dick, like seriously, this is a great song, man. Um, I, I can't like really just speak enough about like how well the drumming was on the song. Uh, super easy riffs though, and, yeah. but that's like gonna find a lot of punk. Well, that's that, that's the whole yeah. the whole ethos of punk is, and we've told the story. If you go to seventies prog rock, the old joke was you had to be an English lord who'd gone to the Royal Conservatory in order to be a, a rock musician. And all the punks said, "Oh, enough of this bullshit, man! I mean, I just want to play some rock and roll." Which once again, I go back to hip hop. Mm. Like that was the thing with like with funk bands stuff. Then before you had programmed drums, it was all like live instrumentation, funk bands, James Brown, Bootsy Collins, and those guys had like live instrumentation, which was great, right? Mm. But hip hop made it so this one dude in the house could do everything himself. Yeah, I, yes, but it's gone too far. Music has ended up sterile. Has it really gone? Yeah, I, I, I think or so. Or yes. Oh, God, pump your fist, telling everybody to get out the yard. I, I'm doing that as well. I'm doing both. A, I'm pumping my fist. Take for that what you will. And B, <laughs> Jesus. All right. How do we get into this? You fist pumper. Uh, as a fist pump, uh, are you going to leave this shit in too? I am. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm pumping my fist and uh, music's overproduced these days. Look, we, we've talked about Rick Beato. Mm -hmm. Love this guy. Rick, if you're watching, cool. Yeah, I love hate. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But he was talking about this one so I don't remember what it was. There were nine writers on the song. Mm. Nine. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. How do you have nine writers? One, two, and was it Gardner, Doisy Gardner? I know, no, no, no. Three. All right, here's, like, let me defend, like, that. Right. Nine writers. Here's the thing, right? Now you've gotten into a situation where everybody wants credit. Sure. For everything. Like, right. copyright dean, come on. Like, you know, all these um, analysis videos we can't monetize that because copyright things happen. And the only thing these copyright things are happening for is like older bands, really, because a lot of new bands are blocked because everybody's trying to sew up the money. Yeah. So if I'm in a studio session and I wrote the hook, one person yeah. wrote the chorus, mm -hmm. or I actually chimed in and said, okay, take this part out and put this part in, I'm gonna want my credit. Because I'm, I'm not getting any like residual income on the back end. That's true. So like back in the day, you had Baccarat Davis, it was probably other people in there, like adding input and doing stuff like that, but it's like, nah, uh -huh, yeah. it's Baccarat David. Yeah. Th that was like the, well, the thing. It's like Beat It by Michael Jackson. That whole, you know, riff, the guitar riff, that's Eddie Van Halen. Exactly. Did the, the, and they, the, he didn't get credit, but he was totally cool. He said, yeah, dude. But see, that's the problem. Did, did you, skill? That's not gonna oh, happen oh, now. Yeah, like, yeah. In, in two, in all, the year all the way, 2021, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Everybody wants their credit. Like, you see like uh, UMG, Universal Music Group, they're like sewing up everything right now. Like you can't do anything. By the way, some of our stuff is blocked in, and we're very sad to say, Iran, North Korea, Cuba, what's the other one? I forgot. It, it, it killed us that we couldn't be, I've been to North Korea. I, it's destroyed me that I can't be seen with my good friend DGL Spade. <laughs> in, 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 and I've been to Cuba too. Go yeah. to like, get over that. But that's the ethos. So like some people like Rick Beato don't take that in consideration. Like they keep on looking at the good old days. I'm like, dude, the whole paradigm shifted, my guy. Yeah. Like I get and I respect your uh, music knowledge. I do. But sometimes he's like, Rick Beato, shut the fuck up. Like, stop. <laughs> like, dude. I, again, you gotta stop beating around the bush and explain to Rick how you really feel there. I'm like, seriously, no, Rick, like, once again, I'm not, like, dogging on Rick. I think Rick is very knowledgeable. I think he's like, incredible. He's a great guy, but just sometimes, like, Rick, just keep your old ass back there. Like, it ain't the same, Rick. Like, stop trying to compare the 70 standards to now. Yeah, but overall, this song, like the subhumans, good song. Good like, song. The UK subhumans, and I would dare to say the UK subhumans are better than the Canadian subhumans. Well, again, I only know the two songs from the Canadian, Fuck mm -hmm. You and... Uh, and uh, well, see, you actually got a good metric stick now. Yeah. You only heard one song from them. Right. So yeah. compare Slave to My Penis, Family Show, to uh, All Dead. Okay, I, I can do that. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk production, all day, better. Mm -hmm. And aside from that really annoying intro, yeah, I if you want to sure. talk lyrical content, I'll say they're both the same because I like the lyrics on both. Mm -hmm. If I want to talk the singing, 
UK, he's a better singer. He is a better singer. He, However, he's not really singing either. No, he, uh, look guys, I know, when I say he's a better singer, I'm not trying to say that he's a great singer. Right, he's, right. But, but in, in the context of punk, right. he is a better singer. Oh, no, no, definitely, I, I totally agree. Like, yeah. everything, yeah. yeah the, the, the production's tighter, the mm -hmm. instrumentation's tighter. Mm -hmm. The anger is equal on both songs. So mm -hmm. I would call it a draw. I really didn't like the intro, and I have the nostalgia factor right. for the Slave to My Dick. Right. But, Guys, if you have uh, for the UK subhumans, if you're watching, cool song, man. Duck no, the song is, uh, like I said, awesome. Yeah. To me. yeah. Uh, ranking this, I think I gave the Canadian subhumans, uh, did I give them a seven or eight? It was between, eight. Uh, yeah, seven and a half, eight, yeah. Eight. Yeah, I'm gonna like put this at eight, too. Yeah, I'm gonna go with seven and a half. I, I'm gonna say eight on the same level because I don't wanna give a nine as gratuitous. And the yeah. only reason I gave eight to Canadian subhumans is because, like, the content, mm. and I got it. Like, oh, I'm a slave, yes, every man's a slave to his penis. So I got that. This one, listening to the lyrics, I could be mistaken, but I think it's an anti-war song. I, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. I was just grooving to the anger, man. Well, you know what, that, that's one thing that, once again, you guys kill me, older generation. Older Cause, generation. No, because you guys are us. Like, yeah. we'll tell you, oh, I'm just grooving to the beat. And then you're like, well, you didn't hear the lyrics and what they're saying? All that, oh, I'm massaging in. All this, I'm killing people? You're really dancing to that? And y'all guys are dancing the same damn thing. We had a conversation when the camera was not running about what we would do for a million dollars, and we really should have left the camera running. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man, that's just, yeah. Hey, look, like, people have double standards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm cool with the double standards, but just don't knock, like, the younger generation. And as I get older, I'm trying not to like, not the younger people. Cause there are a lot of stuff they do are just stupid to me. But yeah. I'm like, you know what? The stuff I did when I was younger well, was perceived stupid too. We're, we're both having a major life event this year. My friend, Lord Spade is turning 40. <laughs> and I am turning 60. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, except I'm graduating into wise old sage territory. <laughs> that, that's me, wise old sage. Yeah, there now, I'm, yeah. I'm graduating into like wise old sage yeah. territory. Like now, I'm not moving the culture forward. No, like, no. I'm not the guy who's like dictating how the culture is moving. On my way here up Aki Harbor, they're going, yo, it's Stash Cairo, that wise old sage cocksucker. <laughs> it's like, All right, so I mean, I'm transitioning to that point. So as I get older, I'm looking at you young guys. I'm like, you know what? All right. It's not what I would do, but it's not my time either. It's you guys' time. And I just wish when I was young, the older generation would try to take my outlook on this and be like, you know what, guys? This oh, is not I'm quite sure when this UK subhuman band came out, yeah. people in the 60s was like, oh my God, this rapscallion music. I, I, I'm hearing this dude in a few, in, 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 within a year or two, you're going to have some 20 year old cat from Memphis going, hey, you kids get off of my yard, DJ L. Spade. Hi, I'm definitely gonna be pumping my fist. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm trying not to be that guy. As I get older, as the older you get, the more conservative you tend to get. Yeah. So I'm trying not to get there. But subhumans, UK, love you guys. We out! I'm actually impressed that DJ L. Spade took it upon himself to, via social media, contact what he thought was the Canadian subhumans. This is a fact. You know, he emailed, hey, hey, Stash, guess what? What? I, I found their fan page. I sent them a note. Well, oh, great. Then it's now nah, wrong, wrong, wrong subhumans. <laughs> but they get back to them. So I want to know if the subhumans UK are watching. What do you think of a uh, Tokyo Stash and Spade? Yeah, Dick Lucas, dude. You are really a good, good, good singer in the sense of punk, <laughs> and your song is great. And thank you for the message. I really appreciate it. You need people like me So you can point the finger and say that's the bad guy I tell the truth even when I lie